Look at this. Very fancy little fridge, and in here, I can open this up, and I have bird whistles. Because this is a car designed to enjoy the outdoors, so you have different whistles for different birds, I guess. That right there is for the North African stone pelican. This, I'm guessing, is for the dick sissel. There's actually a bird called the dick sissel. And then this one has a little rock at the end. Oh yeah, that one might be for the Korean, the Korean leaf eagle. The final one looks a little bit more like a pipe, but uh, that's a whistle. That's for the Papua New Guinean eagle hawk. It's actually a hybrid of two, two birds in one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know much about birds, but this car, has a lot of cool features because this is a very cool car. And speaking of special cars, you can go to our very own car auction platform, sbxcars.com, where we're auctioning some of the coolest cars in the world, super exclusive. Take a look. All right, so first thing you notice is just the color, I think. The color is very unique. You don't really see this in 2024. It's called Manila. And this is a color that they used to use in Cadillacs from 1957 and 1958. I think it looks amazing. You just don't see these kinds of colors. They've used this for the exterior, and what they've also done on the interior leather is they've mixed it with some pink pigmentation to kind of make it feel like a bit like a sunrise. The name itself, Soleil, comes from Sol and Lei, which is sun and leisure because this car is all about having fun in the sun. Now, I'm extremely sunburnt, so it's not a good day to be having fun in the sun. But as you guys saw, it has bird calling pieces. Now, that's something I've never seen before. So this car is about enjoying the outdoors, maybe playing around, hanging out with some birds. It's a double bird magnet, you know, this car is a bird magnet. You have the bird whistle for the, uh, for the actual birds and then you have, you know, the actual look of the car for the other kind of birds. I don't know what birds see, but this color might be a bird magnet color, I don't know. In terms of the shape itself, of course it's a drop top, but it might remind you of the Celestic if you follow this channel. I reviewed the Cadillac Celestic a couple years ago. That was kind of their concept luxury sedan, which is actually coming out by the end of 2024, by the way. This is the drop top version, so it has a lot of elements from the Celestic. For example, the front grille, that's straight out of the Celestic. So you have this grille, these are all lights going in different angles, Cadillac badge going down the middle, all glossy black. The grille is like this because this is fully electric, just like a Celestic. Now you have the lights on the side, the vertical ice cubes, you see that? On the side, 23 inch rims. And what's cool is that the tires have this kind of velvet on the surface and Michelin does that to collaborate with different brands. So for example, Cadillac was able to print their badge on the actual tire, pretty cool. The rims themselves are enormous, they're chromed, they're just something like, you don't need to put any other body kit rims on them. This already looks amazing as it is. Going on to the side, on this side, you have a gigantic door. You could probably fit a flamingo going end to end if it was standing. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty big door. It's actually really huge. Now on this side of the car, you have this button right here and that is for your charging port. Little illuminated ring. And right there, inside a little piece of glass is the goddess, the Cadillac goddess that they used back in the 30s. I think that's when it was most popular. One of my favorite features of electric cars, by the way. Going to the back, a couple of cool features. They've kept the Celestic-ish kind of taillights on the side, which look really cool. But they also have this new light going end to end across the badge. It looks really cool. It's a brake light. There's also another brake light on the top right here. Now, this doesn't actually have a convertible soft top roof, but supposedly underneath this piece is where the soft top would go. So the back has been redesigned. It does have some Cadillac design language. Like you can see this kind of, you know, these kind of angles and the way that this rear diffuser looks, it is very Cadillac-y, but it is also extremely modern. I think that they could actually even bring this into production to be honest. It's not that absurd, right? Like there's some concept cars, they look really crazy. This one's still pretty doable. Right, so this is the door. The door is enormous, but to open the door, you have this really tiny button right here very small and when I press that take a look at this ready opens up 
And there you go. All right, first peek of the inside. So I think one thing that you'll notice immediately is behind the seat, you have this wood and this all looks kind of like sun rays. And that's because this car, as I mentioned, is sun themed. So you have all of these hand placed wooden panels, which represent the sun. You have them on the side here too. So you see all this wood with the different pieces, kind of looks like rays coming out of the center. It's also perforated. So you have a sound system behind it with some lights as well. And when you go to the actual seats, you have all this Napa leather in the same manila yellow. But you see how it all has this texturized kind of lining going up in rays. It's cool. It looks different. I haven't seen any kind of, you know, seat like that. On the headrest, you have speakers. So if you put your head back, you'll be able to get like a full kind of 3D immersion, immersive experience. And then when you hop into the middle, like that, first thing you'll notice, I'm gonna turn this on in just a second, is a huge 55 inch pillar to pillar screen. It's enormous, it's huge, going end to end. Here in the middle, you also have the goddess, right there, very beautiful, encased in glass. And over here, you have some details. So these are three different cars, and they represent kind of the evolution of Cadillac. This is the recent one. This is where we're at right now. This is kind of where it first started off. I think it's pretty, a pretty nice little detail. Okay, let's actually turn this car on. The car is now on, and there's the screen. Huge, going end to end. You have the infotainment, your gauge, the passenger side screen too, saying Soleil. I hope that they make this car, to be honest. This would be a really cool car to have. Anyways. Final detail, by the way, is that this car is hand-built and hand-painted. So this manila color that you see, all hand-painted. The Celestic was also hand-built, and I think it's time to take it for a drive. How cool is this? I feel like, you know, I'm in like a, like a movie, kind of like drop top in California. This is super cool. ride. 